<clears throat> okay, uh, excuse me. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, this is Philip from England, and I'm just going to go ahead and um, start sharing uh, this uh, in uh, various groups, uh, this webinar. Um, let me see here. Um, no one has messaged as yet. Um, so anyway, I'm going to start sharing this uh, live uh, webinar uh, in various groups. And if anybody has a question about the IELTS, please go ahead. Um, I'm a UK native speaker and have been uh, teaching the IELTS. Uh, uh, well, I first started teaching the IELTS about eight years ago, and uh, I have taught it part and full time uh, since then. <clears throat> And I'm just going to start sharing this uh, in some different groups I belong to, and then hopefully some people may come along and possibly ask a question. That's the idea. <laughs> hopefully it won't be just me. We'll see. But if it's just me, I don't mind. I can just make my own questions for myself. Right. Um, let me see here. Um, I'm going to be sharing this uh, in uh, some groups. Uh, let me see here. Uh, right, let me see here. Just go ahead and keep sharing. Um, let me sh keep sharing in different groups here. Okay, um, well, maybe what's best is if I just um, give some general tips and um, um, let's make sure the message is correct. Okay, uh, right, let's start. Uh, let's go ahead uh, for some general tips for the IELTS exam. Now, if anybody joining has a question, please do go ahead and ask. I can see some people are joining. I'm glad it's just not just me in the group here. Uh, although I don't mind, or in the uh, webinar here. Okay, uh, if anybody has a question about the IELTS exam, please go ahead, and I will try my best to answer. Right, and uh, while... Right, I'm just going to go ahead and start giving you some tips, and if anybody does want to ask a question, I will then be happy to start, do my best to answer that. Okay, um, so I'm just going to go ahead with some probably some general tips, I think, today. Um, and... Um, uh, so the first uh, general tip uh, for the IELTS exam is uh, try to get to the exam center on time. So you don't really want to, you know, just um, uh, tr you know get there 15 or 10 minutes before, and then you know maybe you're late even. Um, so just get there. Uh, try to get there, you know, with a reasonable amount of time. Maybe you can go to a cafe or something just uh, while you're waiting. Um, but um, uh, basically. Uh, yes, yeah, so so try to in your schedule uh, make sure that you are uh, not uh, rushed um, is a good uh, plan, and uh, also uh, make sure that you uh, know how to get you know to the exam center um, is uh, obviously useful um, uh, in advance. Um, and if your method of travel is not working you know think of some uh, alternative methods uh, which can work uh, for getting to the exam center okay so that's the first tip and was checking if anyone has a message uh, right the next tip is make sure that you have enough time to prepare for the exam you know it's not uh, for many people they can't sort of prepare uh, for the exam you know just like two days before the exam or whatever or a week before necessarily uh, so make sure that you have like a, a sufficient time to uh, to prepare for the exam and uh, that uh, you're not rushed um, right uh, the next tip a uh, general tip I'm going to give now if anyone does have a question please go ahead and ask and uh, if anyone has a question please go ahead and ask uh, anyone here and uh, I will uh, go ahead and uh, try to answer that also okay um, just sharing also with some of the groups. Right, the next uh, the next tip for the IELTS exam is um, uh, make sure that you know try to understand the structure. 
Uh, so the arts exam has uh, four sections, uh, li listening, reading, speaking, and writing. Um, and uh, the writing has two sections, um, two parts. Uh, the um, uh, 20 minutes for the task one and uh, 40 minutes uh, 40 minutes for the task two. Um, and for the writing, you need to write minimum uh, 150 words. And uh, for task two, uh, minimum 100 and uh, sorry, minimum 250 words. Now, by the way, just importantly, some people kind of think that's a maximum. Um, it's uh, that I've spoken to at least one or more. Um, it's a minimum. So basically, you need to get minimum uh, 150 words for task one writing and minimum um, 250 words for task two. Okay, I can see that there are currently five people just uh, here. If anyone has a question, please go ahead and ask. Uh, this is Philip from England. I'm a UK native speaker. And uh, I first started teaching the IELTS online uh, about uh, eight years ago. And my website, or let's get my head out of the way, is uh, onlineenglishteacher.com. So, um, if you, anyway, if you have a question, this is a free webinar, and uh, please go ahead and ask any question you may have uh, in this group. Okay, I'll just go ahead with another tip from my memory, uh, some sort of uh, general tip here. And uh, the next uh, tip, uh, general tip uh, for the IELTS is um, make sure that uh, you know the grade you need to get, you know, exactly. So, and if it's, if it's also going to be academic or general. Um, so, uh, from my experience, you know, it's actually quite difficult to get, like, if you need, like, for doctors for the UK, for example, you need to get um, uh, seven each section, uh, a minimum seven each section, and an average 7.5 academic. And it's a bit, it's a bit easy, actually, to make a mistake where uh, students are getting, um, you know, like, 7.5 average, even 7, 7, 8, and then whatever and then uh, or whatever it would be and then just feigning in one with 6.5 so basically if you fail in one uh, section and you need each section to pass you know that's obviously a fail overall unfortunately uh, you know in, in uh, technically uh, so basically uh, you know make sure that uh, you are um, uh, make sure that uh, you are um, uh, uh, make sure that uh, you are, uh, you know, uh, getting. Um, uh, uh, make sure that uh, you are uh, uh, getting um, uh, the grade uh, you require for each section. Okay, uh, hi everyone, uh, this is Philip from England. If you have a question about the IELTS exam, please go ahead and ask. And I am a native speaker, I was born and went to school in England, and I first started teaching English on. Um, eight years ago. So I've been teaching the arts online uh, full time and part time since for about eight, uh, eight years approximately. Okay, uh, no questions here, so I'll go ahead for the next tip for the IELTS exam. And the next tip for the IELTS exam is make sure that uh, you know what you can bring to the IELTS center. Um, and uh, basically, you can't bring a dictionary, of course, you know, or, uh, people may not be aware of that. You can't bring a dictionary. Um, so there's a limit, you know, it's, it's very limited. I think it's in like pen, pencil, and eraser. Uh, that you can bring uh, to the uh, uh, to the uh, exam. Uh, so uh, basically, just you know, uh, you can also bring water, uh, but you may not be able to bring that into the test center. Uh, so just be aware uh, that there can be a limit of uh, what you can actually bring in. Okay, uh, I can't see any questions. <clears throat> Excuse me, I can't see any uh, uh, questions here at the moment. So I'm just going to keep uh, posting into uh, groups here. And uh, if anybody does have a question, please go ahead and ask. Otherwise, I'll keep on giving uh, uh, tips from my uh, memory. And this is uh, Philip, a UK native speaker from England. And I first started teaching the, uh, the IELTS exam online about um, eight years ago. 
Um, so uh, if anyone has a question, please do go ahead and ask, and I'm happy to uh, try and assist. Okay, uh, excellent question here from Rasha Mahmood. Um, the question is, your advice to get band 7 for writing academic. Um, okay, excellent question, uh, Rasha. And um, the first thing I'd say is um, just, um, um, you know, make sure that uh, you know what is your current level. Um, so do, have you actually taken the exam recently or maybe you're studying with a teacher, uh, you know, skilled, te experienced teacher and they, they can actually know your level. So that would just be the starting place, I guess, just seeing what is your current level. Um, so Rasha, do you have... Do you have knowledge about what is your current level? Uh, maybe you don't, you know, maybe you haven't been studying with a teacher, so that's fine if you don't. Uh, but the first thing I'd say is obviously, um, you know, uh, basically uh, know what is your current level, uh, Russia. Uh, so if you're able to provide uh, information about that, or maybe you haven't yet tested it, that's fine, of course. Um, however, uh, that's what I recommend. Just find out where you are at the moment, and then you know kind of how far you've got to go, right? It's this basic... Uh, logic for life. Okay. Um, right. Uh, so uh, anyway, I'll just get some tips, uh, uh, Rasha. Let's assume that you do know where you are at the moment uh, for your level. And uh, basically, uh, assuming you do know where you are for your level at the moment, um, and uh, let's say, you know, basically you've got issues with grammar, for example, um, then the first thing to do is just try to uh, cut down uh, on the number of grammar issues and uh, grammar errors and also work on you know work on the complexity maybe using different tenses perfect tenses passives you know anything like that um, so basically uh, you're just trying to uh, increase the uh, uh, complexity of um, uh, the gra uh, grammar and the accuracy um, I'd also recommend uh, making an Excel sheet um, and in the Excel sheet what you can do is uh, uh, you can, uh, in the Excel sheet, what you can do is uh, you can, um, okay, um, oh, I can't seem to share that, so I'm not going to keep sharing. I don't want to get some block. Um, I'm studying at, uh, I'm stuck at six in writing, total scores, uh, total scores 7.5. Okay, uh, right, so thank you. Um, so the first thing I'd recommend is make an Excel sheet and, um, um, and in the Excel sheet, um, you know, for the task, try and do regular homework. And then the errors that you're making, put them into an Excel sheet. And then you can track the um, errors, the ones you're repeating. So also another one, uh, I'm assuming that you've, you know, taken an exam multiple times. Uh, the other uh, thing I'd say is, um, um, if you've taken an exam multiple times, um, then maybe it's an issue also sometimes with students with their handwriting, their handwriting is not clear. Um, so uh, try to um, you know, make sure your handwriting is clear and you can write at a, at a reasonable speed uh, clearly. Um, and uh, so that would be uh, something to do there. Okay, um, now then, um, the next uh, uh, tip uh, for um, yeah, writing is um, when you correct, uh, when you uh, when you correct your 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 errors uh, for writing, you know when you if you're writing you make an error or something, um, then um, basically uh, let me just see something here. Uh, yes, yeah, so when you when you correct your writing for er uh, for errors, um, then uh, make sure that uh, you are doing it clearly. You know, if you're using a pencil, then you can uh, erase it and write it. Or, or if you're using a pen, then put a line through it. Uh, but try not to change the word, you know. This is something that uh, can become a bit confusing, you know. Uh, logically, for examiners, it's like, well, they may be thinking, well, do you mean the first word or do you mean the second word? Uh, if you uh, if you are have, um, uh, if you're just trying to sort of change the words. So I don't recommend that, of course. Um, uh, then uh, also uh, try to use synonyms for the uh, question. Um, so basically, you don't want to um, uh, use synonyms for the questions. So basically, uh, you don't want to just be repeating their vocabulary. Uh, I had actually heard uh, one time uh, that um, 
uh, if you repeat their vocabulary, they dismiss the word, and then they go on to um, basically, uh, you know, to the to the next. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so basically they just they, they miss the word and they go on to the next uh, word, which is your word. So if you're writing their vocabulary, um, then uh, basically uh, that's that's uh, theoretically I've heard uh, this doesn't help. Um, so just spend a few minutes uh, when you're starting writing synonyms. Um, and uh, the next uh, tip uh, for Russia. Now, by the way, if anyone else has a question, please go ahead. Uh, this is Philip from OnlineEnglishTeacher.com. And uh, if you have a question about the IELTS, uh, please do go ahead and ask. I'm happy to answer. Okay, uh, right. Um, and uh, I'm a UK native speaker. I was born and went to school in England. And I first started teaching the IELTS online uh, about uh, eight years ago. Okay, uh, right. Uh, next uh, tip for uh, the uh, uh, writing is uh, make sure you answer the question directly. You know, don't, um, uh, don't you know, write like, um, uh, something different, you know, obviously that's not going to help. Um, the next tip for the uh, IELTS is make sure you have time for checking. I don't recommend just checking as you're writing. Uh, I've heard of some people like writing one paragraph on checking. I, I just kind of, maybe that's good, but I would just recommend the standard style most likely, just writing compl the complete task and checking it and then uh, at the end. So, you know, ideally, obviously this is maybe difficult in real life, but uh, ideally uh, what you can do is you can write um, like for th for 15 minutes for the task one and then check for five minutes and then 30 for five minutes for the task two and then check sorry then 30 minutes for task two and check for 10 so five minutes checking for task one 10 minutes checking for task two I mean that's kind of ideal you know most people may not have that, that luxury um, but uh, basically uh, if if you do um, then uh, that can uh, help Okay, uh, right, um, next tip. Now, I'm just giving general tips for Asher, but, you know, you can, it's, it's kind of tips you can use for any situation, pretty much. Um, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, the, the, uh, the next tip uh, for, uh, the next tip for, uh, um, the next tip for uh, the IELTS is, uh, for writing is, um, Try not to write very short sentences. I, I know technically, if you write a very short sentence, it's not always basic, but I think just it's usually the case. Um, so I recommend writing like 15 to 25 word sentences. Try not to write, excuse me, try not to write five to 10 words or something. I think generally it's going to be quite basic. Uh, also, um, try not to start sentences with the basic words, so you don't want to start a sentence with the or I. You know, it's just basic. And uh, remember, the arts exam is a is a uh, human graded exam. So psychologically, if you're starting a sentence with a and or the, um, it's not going to obviously impress the examiner. Um, the next uh, tip I would recommend uh, for the IELTS exam writing uh, to help a rasher. And by the way, rasher, if you have any specific questions, please do go ahead and ask, and I'm happy to answer. Uh, the next uh, quip, uh, question for, uh, tip for rasher is. Um, um, you know, do lots of practice. So basically, you just need to get good at going at high speed. Um, so that's uh, probably what I recommend there. Um, okay, um, right. Um, let me see here. I'm just uh, uh, going to maybe just do a bit of copy pasting uh, into some forums or whatever. Uh, right. Uh, the next tip um, I would uh, recommend for writing is, uh, yeah, I mean, just get a get a teacher. You know, to to help you. Um, I mean, or or someone, you know, it doesn't have to be a native speaker, just as long as they're very skilled and they know, they know what they're doing, they'll be fine. Um, okay, uh, the next, uh, you know, for correcting, uh, the next tip for Rasher, uh, how to improve their writing is, um, kind of think about the uh, different types of questions uh, that you will need uh, for the uh, IELTS exam, so um, basic, uh, that, that you'll meet, you know, like agree, disagree, you know, whatever it'll be, or, um, um, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, right. Uh, the next tip uh, for how to improve the arts writing is um, uh, try to have like a balance for, uh, for paragraphs. So basically, uh, you don't want to have a very, you know, uh, like, you know, unbalanced, particularly. Um, I know some people kind of do like the first and last paragraph shorter. I mean, you know, that's not my style, but it seems fairly logical. Um, so uh, anyway, um, 
uh, basically uh, think about the uh, the style uh, of your writing and um, to kind of keep a balance there. Um, also, I normally recommend having at least uh, one uh, paragraph, sorry, one, uh, at least two sentences for each paragraph. Uh, maybe for general letter, it's not necessary. Okay. Um, the next thing to recommend is for the academic task one, learn lots of you know useful vocabulary like increase, decrease, marked increase, you know a significant de decrease or whatever, all this kind of vocabulary. Um, the next uh, tip for writing um, could be um, try and, uh, for the task two, try and use some specific examples. Um, so basically, uh, you know, don't speak too generally. Uh, I don't normally recommend that. I don't think that'll be very good. Okay. Uh, the next tip for uh, writing is um, uh, make sure you don't run out of time. You know it's easy to do um, if you, you know. So you need to you need to obviously have time to go on to uh, each uh, each uh, topic for uh, writing. So make sure that you're not uh, running out of time, um, and that will just come with practice. Okay. Um, and uh, you, know, you don't want to just finish the task one and then kind of not have enough time for task two or vice versa, you could say. Okay, um, right. Um, the next step for writing, uh, how are you doing for time actually? Got about five minutes left. Now, if anybody has a question, please go ahead. I'll just introduce myself again. Uh, this is Philip from England. I'm a UK native speaker. I first uh, started teaching the IELTS uh, online about eight years ago, approximately. And if you have a question about the IELTS, please do go ahead and ask. Uh, my website is, oh, just give, if, if anyone's interested, I have like some free material and also paid material. And uh, my website, I'll just give my email and my Skype ID. So my Skype ID is, uh, 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 copy and paste here, my Skype ID is IELTS Online English Teacher. And my email is info at onlineenglishteacher.com. So uh, if anyone is interested in that, uh, please uh, get in touch. I, have, I do have some free material and also uh, I have paid material as well. So if anyone's interested in any of that, uh, do let me know. And um, also I'll give my, um, uh, my, uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, the business page. And if I can manage to copy that uh, correctly, I'll have another go. Um, so you can also just follow me on uh, uh, Facebook if you want it, or not follow me, but follow my, as I'm sure you know what I mean, my business page uh, on uh, on uh, uh, Facebook, if you want it, right? Is that copying there? Um, oh, hang on. Sorry, I've just. Oh, I don't know what I've done. Um, anyway, something. <laughs> right. Um, okay. Uh, let me see here. Um, okay. Uh, now, if anybody does have a question, you know, for the IELTS uh, that you would like to ask, uh, please do uh, go ahead and write it. So I've got a few minutes left. And uh, this is Philip from OnlineEnglishTeacher.com. Visit my site, check it out. I have free and paid materials. Um, right, oh, hang on. my next Skype student is busy. Uh, Thursday, I'll just put a message here. My next uh, class. Okay, uh, right, uh, so, um, Right, uh, next step for the writing exam is, um, uh, let me see what something happened suggested already. Um, try to, um, um, uh, yes, try, try to like think about increasing the complexity of your vocabulary. Uh, don't uh, start sentences with, you know, d don't have basic words. If you, if you, you know, don't use uh, very, very frequent uh, basic words like people, uh, you could change it to individuals or anything like that. Um, the next uh, tip for uh, the writing exam is know that you need to maybe write at quite a high, quite a uh, quite high uh, speed. Um, and uh, therefore, um, you know, uh, so get used to that. And also realize that it can take quite a lot of energy, uh, the answer exam. So you may be kind of writing fast and using a lot of energy. Uh, so uh, it, that can be helpful. Okay, uh, right, uh, uh, just got a few minutes left. Uh, if anyone has a question, please do go ahead and ask, and I'm ready to answer. Uh, if not, um, I may, oh, hang on, we've got about five more minutes left. Okay, so I'm gonna be here for five more minutes, so if anybody has a question about the IELTS, please do go ahead and ask, and I am ready to answer. Uh, this is Philip from onlineenglishteacher.com.
I'm a UK native speaker. I was born and went to school in England, and I'm an art specialist, you could say. Or maybe I'm, I shouldn't call myself a uh, art specialist. Uh, maybe, but anyway, okay. But basically, I specialize in the IELTS. Whether I'm a specialist or not, that's not for me to say. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Uh, right. Um, and, uh, anyway, whatever. I think you get the. I think you get the idea. I spe I basically specialize in teaching the IELTS. Okay. Uh, the next uh, tip for the. Uh, IELTS writing is anything I haven't said. Uh, let me think here. Um, uh, yes, uh, think about the structure. You know how you're going to kind of structure the task. So, uh, for example, you may be going to do the first uh, paragraph introduction. Then it'll be agree, disagree, conclusion for paragraphs. You know something like that. Or if you want to do a more advanced structure or different structure, that's fine. Uh, but just get used to it. Um, you know some structures may be better, maybe more interesting. However. Remember that on the arts grading uh, in the arts grading system, they don't say you must do four paragraphs or three paragraphs. Now, I think the typical is something like four paragraphs for task two, and then three tar three paragraphs for task one. Uh, so, okay, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, hi everyone, uh, this is Philip from England, and if you have a question about the IELTS, I'll be here at least a few more minutes uh, currently. So please go ahead and ask, and I'm happy to answer. Um, uh, also, I have a free forum. Uh, which I think I have um, given the link uh, somewhere, and I'll try and give it again. With nearly three and a half thousand members, so if anyone's interested in that, uh, you can go ahead and join that for free. I do post there, but I don't always, you know, I'm not always replying to people there. Um, oh, nearly three and a half thousand members, three thousand, excuse me, three thousand four hundred seventy-two. Woohoo! Uh, so I'll post the link there, and if anyone wants to join that. Um, I don't always reply there, uh, uh, but um, I do uh, post there, if that makes any sense. Uh, make posts, but not always replying to people directly. Um, and I do have a uh, free, uh, sorry, I do have a paid forum where I kind of guarantee, it only costs currently an offer, $10 a month, uh, if you're interested in that. Um, so, okay, uh, very good. Uh, the next uh, question for the, uh, next uh, tip for the IELTS is, um, for writing, uh, let me see anything I haven't said so far. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Yes, I mean uh, for the uh, for the uh, task two, you know, you will need a conclusion. I think you know it's just standard, isn't it? Um, I can't particularly think of any questions that would never use that. Um, uh, you know, most likely, so I could probably say that one hundred percent of all questions will always be. I haven't seen one hundred percent of all questions, of course. In the IELTS, there are many uh, thousands in every year, or whatever, uh, most likely. Uh, but you know, pretty much you could say 100% is always going to need a conclusion. However, the point I'm trying to make is for the academic task one, um, it's the report, and uh, so instead of saying in conclusion for the academic task one, I normally say something like summing up um, instead of uh, you know in conclusion. Okay, um, right. Uh, next tip. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Uh, next tip for the uh, writing is be familiar with the band descriptors. Um, so it'll be just from memory, it's task response, coherence and cohesion, uh, grammar, and vocabulary. So, you know, do you answer the question? Is it well structured? Is your grammar correct and varied? And is your vocabulary correct and varied? And, you know, and the question will be going into detail and uh, coherence and cohesion is, you know, um, things like uh, something like uh, is it, are the paragraphs linked together and, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, uh, right. Um, I hope that makes sense at least a bit to someone or more or everyone. Uh, right, okay. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, this has been Philip from OnlineEnglishTeacher.com. I'll get my head out of the way. Uh, I, I think I need to kind of reposition my chair, although my office is a little bit small. So, uh, although I could maybe have got a lot of furniture here as well. So it's not that, so not super small. Right, uh, okay. I'll just uh, give my Skype and email. And if you're interested in free or pay stuff do get in touch and I have like a um, uh, actually I have a free ebook I'll just give the link for that um, so if anyone's interested in that um, uh, I will send a link
Okay, uh, sorry, Ben. I, I think there was just um, some internet disconnection or something with Facebook or my internet or whatever. Right, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, glad to have uh, given this uh, free webinar. And please follow, like, message, or anything else. Uh, and have a fantastic day, I hope.